Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of Next Gen SMP. So today, we're going to be doing a really fun kind of overpowered thing. So in this mod pack, there's a mod called Mini Utilities, right? And from Mini Utilities, right, it's kind of loosely based off of another mod called Extra Utilities that came out a long time ago. Extra Utilities, I don't know if it's been discontinued or what, but it's just not been updated for a long time. So as a result of that, Mini Utilities brings back a lot of what, you know, this Extra Utilities had. Now, one of the items in Mini Utilities was I saw there was called the Kikoku. Now, in, key, in the Extra Utilities, was notoriously hard to get. But in this mod pack, I don't think it's as hard to get as it originally was. And it's a really OP weapon. It has 30 attack damage, uh, 2.5 soul damage, right, 0.25 soul damage, which basically, you know, I think that means it hits, uh, it can even hurt creative players. And, uh, and like, you know, people that are, like, in god mode. And then, like, uh, even armor-piercing damage and divine damage. So, like, there's a few different things this does. Uh... So, yeah, we can. This is really just actually kind of just down to the opinion cores, which means as long as we get more patterns, right? A few patterns, we can really make this happen. So, now we might not have enough of certain things, right? And that's fine, but as long as we know what we're missing, we can start working towards this today, right? So, Kikoku is going to require the final opinion core, right? It's going to need two of them. Uh, for this, you're going to need the uh, semi stable. Inga recipe, which is not hard to make. That is semi sable. And you're gonna need the Nether Star Opinion cores, right? Which is that. Now remember I made the Wither Spawner for a reason. Now you're gonna need the Experience Opinion cores, which are gonna be that. Now, we have these. We got a lot of these actually, experience pearls. Right? So as you can see, we're going down the chain. Uh that's gonna require chorus opinion cores, which uh, we have coarse flowers. I basically have been, um, growing them. We have a lot of them, actually. I did the math on how much we're gonna need. And that's over enough. We've been growing them in my basement over there. I just got them off camera. It was, like, a really small thing. Uh, I've been letting them grow for the past few episodes, actually. So that's gonna require emeralds, then. And then you're gonna require... Now, you're the hard one. You're netherite. And we're gonna need a lot of netherite for this. So I think netherite's where we're gonna get held up. And I have a solution for that, if that is the case. But we can, we can do diamond, right? Netherite does require diamond, correct? Yeah, okay, cool. And diamond requires gold. And gold requires iron, which is the, fi is the first one, right? So cool. So, in theory, if we want to make two of these final opinion cores, right? Two. Sorry, looks like we're missing... A lot of these resources. Now, the emerald might not be the hardest to get because we can trade with villagers for it. But we have everything else on the high side. Which we're missing stuff on the low side. We're missing a lot of iron. Um, we're missing a, a lot of netherite. We're missing a lot of coal. We're missing a lot of... So we're missing a lot of stuff on the low side. Which is fine. If we're get, we have stuff on the high side, that's actually pretty good. But if we're missing stuff on the low side, that's pretty bad. Uh, okay, so cool. So now that we know what we're missing, we can definitely work towards this. So we're going to work into getting, um, yeah, we're going to want to make dimensions through RF Tools dimensions that just kind of inherently have these materials inside them. We can just harvest a ton of them, bring them back here, and then just use them to make these opinion cores. That is the plan. So we're going to be getting into RF Tools dimensions today. Now, do I know how RF Tools dimensions works? No. Is there an in-game guide for it? I don't think so. So how are we going to figure this out? I don't know, but I do know we can make dimensions made out of things we want. So, like, we have a bunch of, actually, things in here already. Uh, dimension builders, I know we're going to need, I know we're going to need these things, I know we're going to need, like, dimension mon- well, we don't need that, we, we probably need the dimension editor, we're probably going to need all the inscriber, the demo workbench, the knowledge holder, the researcher. So, yeah. That, that's all fine, but, so we'll, we'll, we'll start with this, right? We're going to need- one of, I guess, maybe we should just craft these straight out, because I don't think we're going to need multiple of these, so. Okay, we're going to want that. Although this, we're probably going to want to know how to make multiple of. That one might we might want to know how to make multiple of. Other ones, not so much. Although these guys, we might want to know how to make multiple of in the future, but that's fine. So we're probably going to want an inscriber, which is going to need empty dimlets, so. It's going to need uh, crafting tables. going to need, um make like 10 of these so arc tools dimensions so again inscriber 
I don't know which of these blocks we need, but I do know we need some of them, so. We're gonna want a dimwit workbench. We're gonna want a knowledge holder. Uh, give me that. And some of these blocks need power, some of them don't. Give me a comparator. Start. Give me an enchanting table. Uh, give me a empty dimlet. And give me that. Cool. So, okay. I might need just a quick uh, refresher on this on myself. and Because I've, I've used this mod before. I just haven't used it in a long time. And then I will get back to you guys. Okay, just so we know this, we're going to need a matter transmitter and a dialing device just as we go along as well. Because uh, that's how we actually access the dimensions. I forgot about that. That's technically not part of the dimensions. It's part of the utility add-on, which is why I forgot about it. But we are going to need these. So what I'm saying this up is in my, uh, you know, place where I'm doing all my other tech stuff. So, uh, oh, I have my inventory already. So I'm doing the stuff that doesn't need power over there because some of these blocks don't need power. And some of them do, so. If I do that... I think, in fact, you're going to need it, so let's do this. So you go right there. And I think the dialing device also requires power, correct? Yes, they do. Okay, so that's probably the best way to do it like that. Cool. I don't know if they link like that or anything like that, but that's going to be how we how we run that one right there because that makes my life a lot, a lot easier. Okay, cool. I'll be right back. Okay, so here's where how we start, right? This block, the researcher, is the block we're going to start with. It's a good thing we have an Enderman farm because of the fact that we get these lost knowledge, right? We actually have uncommon, we have even some rare ones now. But the whole entire goal of these, right, is that once we get them, is to take them, put them there, right? And they're going to take a power, of course, to do this. And maybe speed it up just a little bit if we want to. But it's going to go through and it's going to give us a, you know, a result. So that's... Uh, a rare fluid, and we want to throw that inside the knowledge holder, right? So, after I go over to the inscribe or th this builder over here, which they might need to be right next to each other, it looks like. Okay, cool. So, some things might need to be worried, organized in a specific way. Yeah, I don't think these guys need power. Oh, yeah, we can now see all the, the fluids that are available. So, what are you? You are a uh, mineable dagger. So, whatever a dagger can mine, I guess blocks of that in that variety right and then we get a um what's this rare fluid again so we, we are getting some some duplicates right which is fine you're gonna you're gonna be expected to get some duplicates and we can also craft these up so if i want to get more rares i could do that and if i want to get legendaries right i can do that too now i'm just gonna let these kind of go and uh do their thing because realistically i have no reason to stop them from doing their thing so but that's another rare fluid so yeah so all i'm going to be doing is throwing these in here as i get them and then what i could do is i could do this right and if i want to i can just let these just go wild right and get a few of these done right so what we have uh uncommon block mineable paxel mineable dagger right so we actually are running out of power over here which is an issue kind of because it does seem to be keeping up even though it's running out of power Whatever. So we're going to get a lot of these without actually having to do this, though. We're getting a lot of duplicates, which makes me believe that since we're getting duplicates, it's likely that there isn't a lot that fall into this anyways. So maybe it's less so that we're getting duplicates. It's just more so there's not much it can give us. So we're getting... But I mean, we got a lot of duplicates of this one in particular. So maybe that is the case. I don't know. Maybe we're more likely to get different ones. Okay, we're actually going to put some common in there, see if that changes anything up. I'm going to throw you in there, you in there, you in there. And I think we'll just throw the rest up in here just for temporary measures. Give it a little bit more, because we should, there should theoretically be more commons, right? Right? You think there'd be more commons? We got, we got uh, end biomes and uh, my little Paxel. Yeah, common, common biome. Uh, we're getting more mineable paxel though, which is a little annoying. Mineable dagger, common block. Uh, we, my gosh, mineable paxel is very, very 
non-rare one. It's very, very common. Yeah, we're getting a lot of that mineable Paxel. Slime block. I wonder if it's just that I'm shifting out of there a second it's done. Yeah, cold mountain, cold biome, mountain biome. So maybe if I give it a second to actually just like, you know, register. Nope, maybe not. Maybe it's just mineable Paxel is just super, super common. Common admin. Forest biomes. Okay, so this is what we want, kind of, this kind of stuff. These will allow us to make the most customizable dimensions we can. I did not want that there. What is that? Uh, mineable Paxel again. Where are you? A mineable Paxel again. Mineable Paxel again. Mineable Paxel once more. Beach biomes. Okay, cool. So we're getting some, some different ones. Mineable Paxel once more. Mineable Paxel once more. And the final one that I'm going to do right now is it still Mineable Paxel. Why? Why are there so many Mineable Paxels on here? Okay, well, cool. So we have probably a lot of different things we can make right now. Cheater, owner, Bayou, Cherry Blossom Grove. Okay, cool. So with all of these options here, we can kind of make certain things appear get, with getting certain things, but I got to kind of figure out how to make this all work because, yeah, I don't know exactly how this all works. So, yeah, we'll be right back in a little bit, I guess. Okay, so if we want to make a sporadic kind of dimension, all we got to do is we got to basically make one of those, you know, what are they called? Empty dimensional tablets, right? Boom. Oh, missing one paper. Available for. Uh, let's add a recipe for paper, because apparently we don't have a recipe for paper over here. P A P E R paper is paper. Hey, hey, paper. Um, sugarcane for paper, right? We have a lot of sugarcane, right? Uh, sugar. Yeah, we have a lot of sugarcane. Okay. We're gonna want more of these in the future, so we'll craft like four of them right now, just so we have them. I need one right now. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. And then for you, actually, I'm going to want to make you home. Right? And then... So now we can see home there. So we can dial from home to somewhere else. We want to put you in there. Actually, no, wait. We want to put you in the dimension builder. Um, put the dimension tabs like in... Oh, well, we don't have any dimlets to use, though, which are the things, so... Uh, first dimension. So can I mention, oh, only lowercase letters. Okay. Looks like first dim store first dim. Okay, cool. So that is what we do. We want to throw this in the dimension builder. It's not going to take too, too much power to build because it's, we didn't specify anything, right? Now, if we go here, we could dial this, right? And if we go here, we've been transported off to who knows where. Now, this could be kind of hostile, could be kind of... Oh, I think we spawned in... What the heck? We have slowness. And mining fatigue. Um, I'm going to do this. Just because I'm kind of worried. It might be that that dimension didn't have enough power, so that's why I'm getting that. Yeah, okay, you don't have... Are you using 67 R of a tick? Oh, you're gaining power, so I went there too quickly because this wasn't getting enough power fast enough. But we did get a bunch of dimensional pattern 2 blocks, so I think the dimension's made out of... Okay, yeah, so that's getting... It's getting... It's gaining power. You only use 67 R of a tick to keep up, so... The other dimensions are going to need a lot more power to keep up at points in time, so... Yeah. Okay, so this is keeping it up. But I think I just went in there when there was too few power, and that's what gave me the nasty side effects. So if I go in there now, I'm probably good. Or it's just a dimension that gives me... really bad effects. What I can also do is I could just do... Now, what we're going to want to be careful about, right? It's the fact that this is a... I'm going to call it right here. Yeah, it has enough power right now. I mean, we might not be coming back here. But it is... It, is, it does take power, so... We want to be careful with that. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to actually make a... I'll call it... Uh, I want to call this... Portal 
technically kind of question mark it's not really a portal it's more just a the thing that you know we we came in on because to get out we should we should have a charged porter but we can just kind of use a uh, slash home yeah so it looks like this dimension is made out of these dimensional block twos or dimensional pattern two blocks as like the stone and it looks like there's like just massive like cliffs. So I assume this is like the dimension. Like there probably does like this in like layers, which is weird. It's a lot of sheep and like pigs and stuff here, which is good, but like just a really really wacky dimension. Yeah, there's a, there's a lava and stuff too spawning. But okay, so what we want to do here is we want to find like dimensional huts. I feel like it's gonna be and the fog here is also really annoying. Like there's. My gosh, this fog is actually like, abhorrent. So yeah, I think the lava is also a feature of this dimension. I I just want to find some of the houses. So the houses are where we can kind of get stuff out of them. And with the, the houses we can get stuff out of, you know, we can get like more dimlets to make more customized dimensions. And uh, well, of course, this dimension not customize it all. All we specify is that we created a dimension and well we got this and now we have an infinite supply of dimensional block twos. Now that's not what I want in particular. I want an infinite supply of like, you know I don't know, uh iron, netherite, enderium would be a nice one to have an infinite supply of diamond, emerald, you know. Okay, well, we're not finding one of those houses. Normally they're a little bit they're a little bit uh, more common than this, but I think the problem is is mainly maybe because of, you know, the mountains making it very hard for them to spawn, and the fog, meaning we can't really see it if we ever come into it. Yeah, anyway, it's just massive drop-off here. What's this? This is a new structure we're finding here. Oh, no! Oh, no, it's just... Oh. So it snows here. <laughs> it's a taiga. Yikes, okay. This is this is just wild. This dimension's actually kind of just like crazy. We're coming up on another one of those. Yeah, we are. Holy heck, this is crazy. <laughs> do these have a use? Like, yeah. Do these have a use? We can uncraft into dimensional shards. Actually, that's pretty nice. Actually. We ever we're running low on dimensional shards, we know where to come for them. So this is basically a dimensional shard mine, as long as I have experience to like you know, uncraft it now. Granted Oh, give me uh, that's not what I want to do. Uh I don't know how deep down this goes. We can actually check if I see if there's anything like below here for like, the deep slate. It's down to like that layer. If the deep slate's also like this. And I'm just being minus as I go down because I do plan no, the deep slate's also not like this. It means we might have like a semi from underground. Not really. Okay, so it looks like it's just straight deep slate. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do slash home then. Because no reason to to stay in that dimension for very long. That dimension kind of isn't amazing. So, okay, we want to do another one of these, right? So we, we can't really find any dimlets. Now there are... I mean, I guess we do have some custom dimlets, right? But this is really for crafting dimlets, right? The dimlets we do have, right? Uh, chest. Let's grab a... Yeah, that one. We don't want all of these, but I also want some of these. And then dimlets. So we have some dimlets that we can use to kind of build dimensions with. So we might as well put all of these over there so we can see all of them. Let's do this. Just drop them on the ground and then I'll... Basically, you know, with my vacuum powers, bring them over to me. We can kind of see we have dimlets here, then we've arranged them in a certain way with this dimension, we'll be able to get certain things. So, right? Cities, uh, water world, underground, the end, swamp, dark forest, highland moor, basalt deltas, lavender field, rainforest, bayou. So, these are kind of biome, seasonal forest, lush caves, winds of savannah, and highlands, rainbow hills, yellow terracotta, and stone, Paul site, brown petal block, key nine. I don't know what that is. Oh, wait, these are digit dimlets. Okay, so. Hollow cubes, that's a feature. Another fossil, monument, maze, void, spikes. So yeah, but I can also just do those. I can, you know, second dim store, right? 
Uh, okay. Oh, I didn't realize that this is actually the same as the first dimension. So, yes, first dim. So, because we didn't put any dimwits in there. Hmm. Can I just put this in there and make it... Wait, uh, extract. Okay, so cool. So if I want to put this in there, make it actually called second dim, so we're going to have a feature of spikes in there, right? It's not saying anything in particular, so start. So this one costs 20 R a tick. So it's even cheaper than the first one. Structure dim one. Ocean Ruin. That's weird. I don't know where that came from. So we take you out of there. Technically, well, um, the, the thing is that these dimensions are, are powered at all points in time. If they ever run out of power, they, you know, the dimension is like, you can't go in. I mean, if you die, if you go into it, you'll die. From just like, you know, from there just being not anything to power the dimension. The power, the dimensions need power to stay alive, so. What, this costing 26 R per tick? By dial up second dim, right? Dial. As long as this doesn't have a terrible amount of power in it. Uh, we might want a little bit more power in it before we go in there. But as long as there's a good amount of power in it, we won't just be, you know, slowed and, uh, you know, whatever, to, to oblivion. So it looks like it can hold, like, a lot of power in it, but... Should be good enough to stay alive, I think. Okay, so... Uh, the biome we're in is Twilight Forest, but I know we're definitely not in the Twilight Forest. We do have Salinas and Mining Fatigue, because apparently this dimension is, I guess, not quite good, but... Holy heck. Spikes. I mean, I, I did specify spikes. But, um... I was expecting, like, you know, the occasional spire. Not just the mention of Twilight Forest with spikes everywhere. Holy heck! <laughs> this is not what I wanted. Okay. Um, we're going home again. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. That dimension's not what we want. Okay. I gotta figure out how we can get, like, actual dimensions that aren't, you know, out for us. Because, dang. You know, it was funny, but it wasn't what I was expecting. We're definitely not getting the key cook with this episode, but maybe we'll find we'll be able to make a dimension that at least has like iron in it if we're lucky. Okay, so I figured out those keys are for. Those keys are actually allowed to basically we can make dimensions that are like, you know, like if I do this right. So if I make an empty dimlet, right, start. So if I make empty dimlets, what? Why? Why'd, why'd you do this to me? Do that right, and then we do. Get four of these, three, four. So that is allowing us to make dimlet zero. The key is zero, right? Now, if we make another, what do we call it, right? Um, what are they called tabs, dimensional tabs, empty dimension tab. That's what it was called. I couldn't remember the names of them. I was like, what? What the heck are they off the top of my head? So now, if I were to put you in here with that, this is going to be third dim. That's just the naming scheme I'm going with. Right, if I store that, it's not going to be the same as the first dim. But it's only cost like 10 RP tick, but if I were to do this now, it's going to build this dimension. It's going to have a maintenance cost of 10 RP tick, which actually isn't bad. Now it's taking 86 RP tick. Okay, well that's not the same as 10 RP tick. <laughs> I guess that was the build cost. Uh, I need to get, let it get more power, but in theory, this dimension is, you know... Pretty, pretty good. Actually, this might have more than the other one did, so I could probably go in there now. So, if I were to dial third dim, dial. I can also just dial once, and that means when I step on it, you know, it won't ever, you know, that won't be alive anymore. Or not alive, around, I guess. So, um, I feel like we somehow managed to be trapped underground in this dimension. I have. Mind fatigue and slowness, but it doesn't feel like it. Um, oh! Okay, so we want... Oh. I want... Small tunnel. There we go. Put that back to shapeless quick. Okay, where are we? Holy heck, okay. This dimension has nothing! <laughs> Wow. Although, to be fair, it should be really easy to find those... The structures in here, assuming one spawns... We're not, we've not been getting those... Been getting very lucky with those structures spawning at all. 
Why? How are we not finding, like, any one of those structures? They should really be spawning in here. I've been trying to get dimlets and I can't get any because of the, the stupid structures to get the dimlets are not spawning. Oh, I guess there's caves in this dimension. That's nice to know. Oh, this is ridiculous. This is really ridiculous. I, I've never had this much trouble finding the structures, the little house structures, to get more dimlets. I mean, we might have to build them all. Maybe the, maybe the mods change. Maybe I'm misremembering how things work. Ay caramba. Okay, so we're gonna do is we're gonna take another one of these. Digi dimlet. We're gonna do key one, right? So I guess we gotta do we gotta make key zero again, right? So we gotta make key zero. Oh, um, start. Can I start? Make this. And that looks like if I do that, yeah, key one. Okay, cool. Now, we're going to try this one more time tonight before I'm, like, ready to give up. Because this is killing me. Fourth dim store. Yeah, you're going to take 10 RF tick to build. 10 RF tick to maintain. So you're third dim. Fourth dim, let's build you up. Okay, what are you going to take to maintain per tick? 26 RF a tick. That's actually not bad. So this is actually going to be pretty, pretty easy to get going. Now we can make a phase field, a phase field generator if we want to. It'll make life a lot easier actually when we go into these dimensions. Essentially, if the dimension itself is like out of power, but as long as we have power within this, which we you know we have power in our you know thing. In fact, we can go upstairs to I use power right out of that and just put this in there. Uh, so yeah. Don't let the power run out. Keep this on your hotbar. Actually, wow, that holds a lot of power. Um, let me see how much that can hold in here. Is it ten thousand? Probably about or a hundred thousand, maybe. Okay, a hundred thousand is full. So again, as long as we hold this in our hotbar, we'll be safe. Uh, we can dial fourth dim and dial once. Let's head there. Volcano. Um. Okay, well, if we're lucky this time, we'll have... Don't tell me it's like this again, where it's like a weird little whatever. I mean, at least, like, this isn't made out of, like, you know, those blocks. What is this? Mystic Grove? Well, at least in this dimension, it'll be pleasant to try to find one of those things, but it's still going to be annoying because we have the mountains. Ay caramba. So, yeah, there has to be... A different way of doing this. Now, there's also these slimes that spawn in these dimensions that we should be trying. Acacia? Is that what the wood is in this dimension? Oh, gosh. We're never gonna be able to find these slimes, are we? There is, like, these slimes that spawn in these dimensions that we should be trying to kill, because if we kill these slimes, right, we'll be able to basically... What's the word I'm looking for? We'll be able to use the slimes... To make different dim ones, we'll be able to use like their 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 not their body parts, but their their goop they drop. They drop their own slime balls, and then we can use that to make dimension parts. But we got to be able to find them first, yeah. And uh, well, I don't think we're gonna be getting a dimension where we find them because we're super unlucky. Not gonna lie. So yeah. And we're definitely not getting any of those structures in this dimension. All those dimensions much more pleasant to look at than the past ones were. Just by virtue of not being, you know, super, super ridiculous and having some variety. But still, we're not getting any of those structures, which and it's going to be super hard with this acacia wood to find these these guys. I'm pretty sure they spawn on stone. We can just wait till night, or we can just try setting it tonight and seeing if they spawn, because if they don't spawn, we'll know there's an issue. I carambo. I am crying. <laughs> Please let me free. Okay. I am just struggling to find a dimension. I went through four dimensions. I can't find a dimension that just has things that I can use in them. It's, it's ridiculous. Nighttime came around and we didn't even get the whatever's in there, so I'm gonna call it on our tools dimensions for today. I will come back. And we we will we will be coming for that that weapon, but we are gonna have to wait like just a day or two because like 
I'm <laughs> I'm honestly tired of going through these dimensions and trying to find them. So, what are you doing here? How do you? I have the no loitering thing, like or no soliciting or whatever it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time where you jump into more Arc Tools dimensions. Though I guess we'll try it out. Actually, like you know, make a good dimension that gives us the resources we want. <laughs>